Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Review today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Guys, today's beer is Treehouse Brewing Stone Fruit. Um, again, this is another lower ABV beer at 5.2% uh, for all you cats that want a session beers uh, and don't want to get too inebriated too quickly. So uh, this will prolong that. Uh, instead of being drunk, we'll, we'll Within an hour or two, you might be able to stretch it to three or four if you're drinking a 5% instead of a 7 or an 8%. So, that being said, unless you're a slow sipper, uh, this is a, uh, let, me, let me just read what it says here. Stone fruit is a mixed fermentation pale ale brewed with peacherine and citra hops. So, I guess that's a cross between a peach and a nectarine. Uh, it is thoughtfully crafted to be low alcohol crusher that is enjoyable all the way through your glass can can condition. It pours a beautiful bright yellow color in your glass and carries exotic peach, tropical fruit, and white grapefruit notes. A dash of funk carries the experience throughout. So we're getting a saison slash farmhouse style pale ale here that should be super hoppy. Uh, Stone Fruit is a great beer to enjoy in any circumstance. We invite you to share with friends and family, loved ones, and good cheer and good health. So, uh, low ABV, guys. Uh, no date on the, the can here. So, again, I have noticed a lot of the lower ABV beers that we've done, they, don't, they haven't dated. So, uh, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it has to be a certain percentage before they date it. I, I don't know how that's working. But anyway, it has no date on it. But, Beer Advocate has it listed, but no reviews. Brand new. And Untapped only has 127 reviews. So, I feel pretty safe that it's a, uh, a fairly recent release. And again, guys, uh, date, I'm the date Nazi anyway on screaming about dates on beers. Everything from Treehouse is bought at one of their distribution points that they control. Uh, so uh, there is no going into distribution. They're not distributed. So you're going to get your hands on them. You're going to either have somebody either give them or send them to you or you're going to go there yourself. So either way any information that you need I'm sure they can tell you there since they're controlling everything distribution, everything. So, uh, you know, that's one way of doing it, but you limit the amount of people that get their hands on your beers when it doesn't get in any kind of distribution chain and, and get to other states and, and, and that, that, you know, that's that's the direction they're going. So, anyway, uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. We've gone over everything, so let's get it in the glass. This is probably not something that I would typically purchase. It was in with the mixed packs, guys. I don't buy 5.2 percenter because I don't session beers. Y'all know that. Used to. Many moons ago. Ever since I got into craft beer, I, I don't session beers anymore. So, I go for the taste and not the effect. Ah, finger and a half of head. Kind of big, soapy bubbles on it. Ah. Uh, this is not a New England style, so it, I can see light right through this guy. This is going to be more in the Saison farmhouse style. That's a little bit hopped up according to what they're saying. So, looks interesting. What do you think? Hmm? Good to know. Here we go. Yep, I get the Saison farmhouse funk right off the bat there. And there is some citrusy notes there. I don't know if I would bear it all the way down to peach or nectarine or peacherine, but 
I get some peaches. I am getting peaches. That smells like what they say it is. That's like a peach nectarine farmhouse saison ale. Let's dive in. Sure. That's very bright. That's nice. That's super citrusy. It's got the farmhouse funk. Basically a, a pale ale with the mixed fermentation yeast going on there. So, I like it. Very crisp. Very nice. It could be a breakfast beer. 5.2%, I mean, that's Kool-Aid, right? Alright, swirly swirl. Well, uh, get out of there. A lot of foam in there. Look, it's still coming out like yogurt. I think that's it. I think that's all we're going to get. Got a, like an old farmhouse or something on the front of it. Yeah, they're a treehouse emblem on there. So, tasty beer. Let's go sip on it. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. A little bit of lacing is left on the glass. Decent saison, guys. It's tasty. Uh, very enjoyable for you cats that like these 5.2 session beers. Final chug. Ah, not my cup of tea, but I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that like these saison farmhouse sales that... Uh, We'll find this, and I do like them, uh, guys, but I like them a little bit more ABV than the 5.2 is going to be. So, uh, and not having a date on it has an influence with me, too, even though it came from the brewery and you have to buy it there. Uh, it's a B beer to me, guys. That's where I'm going to put it. 85, right down the middle. We don't have nothing yet from Beer Advocate, and Untapped has it at 3.71, which is in their B range also. So, uh, yeah, but they've only had 127 people comment on it yet, and I'm sure some of them thought it was very, very tasty. Uh, let me scroll down there. There's four point. Most of them are in the three point something. There's a four. There's a two. There's a four point five. So yeah, that. For what it is, it's very, very tasty, guys. I mean, if you say, oh my God, that's the best thing I ever tasted, I wouldn't argue with it. It could be a tin beer to a lot of people. Uh, so, pick it up, give it a try. If you can get near one of their locations, uh, that's the kicker with Treehouse. You have to go there or know somebody that will get it to you one way or the other. So, uh, guys, if you've had... Now, I'm pretty sure it's a 2023. If you've had stone fruit, and I don't think they've done it before, so if you've had stone fruit, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the frizz.